the only guy going. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're dead on about that. All right, let's move into the discussion that we have been uh, teasing for what three days now, however long it's yeah, been, yes, starting into last week. Uh, NFL quarterback talk. Now, right. obviously, we've got the draft coming up. We think the free agency has uh, has slowed down until after the draft. Uh, you mentioned a, a very simple question, but one that does bring a lot of thought, and, and you gotta you got to do some problem solving and all that kind of mess, right? Um, it, it gives you an opportunity to, to deep dive into some of these players, who they are. We did it a little bit yesterday with Rodgers and Wilson and nitpicking the difference between. You're, you're splitting hairs with some of these things. Basically, I heard a conversation. Here's the premise off of the Ringer NFL show uh, with uh, with Kevin Clark and, and somebody he had on. I should know that guy's name, but it wasn't a regular Ringer guy. Um, and, and if it was, it, it wasn't Robert Mays, who he usually does it with. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna. Uh, you got three situations here that you got to fill the thing for. I'm saying you can't use the same guy twice. Okay. Okay. You need a quarterback for this year, for one year, one season, this season, with the team they have, with the coach they have, the players they have right now. Okay. okay. They're going to be healthy all the way through. We'll just assume that. Then you've got a quarterback for the next five years. Roughly in the same situation they're in. Now, I'm not saying they can't get traded or whatever, but who would you want for five years? And then for 10 years, who would you want your franchise for for 10 years? Now, I think anybody that's not lying to themselves, that's a real, true, honest sports fan, we all have the same answer for 10 years. Do you think anybody – because I'd like to address that one first because I think it's the easiest one to address. I think we're all going to say Mahomes, right? Mahomes – as much as I love the rest of the guys, and we'll get to with five and we'll get to with one, I don't I don't know that you can project out anybody else 10 years from now. But I think Patrick Mahomes, eight years from now, is going to look a whole lot like he looks right now. Yeah, I agree, because I don't think that what he does is something that you can necessarily prepare for. No. Uh, it, he's just, like, it, it's what all of these talking heads always discuss. You have to have a quarterback that can complete a third and eight or a third and 11 uh, and keep the chains moving. And he does and he, it well, with such regularity. Well, he can complete the 60-yarder. He can complete the one three yards behind the line yes. of scrimmage. And he makes not just every throw, but every slot position. He doesn't have to be set. He can throw off his left foot, his right foot, falling backwards, leaning forwards, falling left, falling right. He, he, there's nowhere he can't get the ball out of his hand to the person he wants to get it to. Yeah. yeah. He's it, right? I would be interested to hear if anybody has somebody else for 10. The 10-year plan, I just can't trust anyone else knowing no. that's a guaranteed contract. I got to pay him all the way through. Who am I getting the most bang from a buck out of? That's it. Yeah. I, now, I'm, we can I'm go to you. one or five after that. You pick. Uh, Let's go ahead. Let's move to one. Uh, because right. my my answer was Patrick Mahomes on the ten because that yeah every I think we, I thought we yeah. were well, that's the least discussion I think there is in in honesty I think I think five might surprise you because I think we might be the same on five uh, but we'll we'll hey, you know what screw it let's go on and do let's go on and do five I, so I will tell you I'll be honest for the other two I have three options I have one that I will take but I would not be upset with the other two options at all. Outside of these three options in this scenario, I wouldn't take anybody. Uh, Michael Fritz jumped in. He said, if Andrew Luck was back playing, I'd throw his name out there for 10 years. For 10 years, though? Woo, he'd be, he's in his 30s, man. 10 years from now, he'd be. No, he, he's, he was 29, so yeah, I could see it. He'd be 39, man, I don't know. Already mm. had a neck injury. Mm. Let's see. If he was playing. I wouldn't take him over Mahomes, and I don't know that we'd debate about it either. Now, maybe. You, you may be right. I, I, I might would do Andrew Luck for five. Uh, Joseph Gomez said you can leave a team. Uh, you can lead a team down twenty points and win by twenty points. You get my vote. Lamar Jackson is the only other quarterback for ten years. So uh, he is my answer for the five years. Really? Yes. Now I I had him as a possibility for one year. No, and, it hold on. A stud. I understand. I, I'm, I'm with you, but if you go and look at his accuracy, 
Oh, it I, ain't great. Like, we're we're going to have a conversation. I don't care. I don't care. That, uh, he's a freak. I know. I know in he's college, a freak. He threw for a gazillion yards. He knew how to throw the football in college. <laughs> he's learned how to figure it out in the pros. He did not know how to throw. He was know. thrown to a bunch of white guys that sucked or a bunch of old guys that couldn't run anymore. So, I don't hey, care. Michael Fritz jumps in. He, he agrees with me. He said, Lamar Jackson may be a flash in the pan. Nope. And it is entirely possible, I think. Now, I had nope. him as an option. He is not my choice. He's not my choice for one or five. Uh, he is my choice. But I, he, was, he was a possibility for me for one year because I don't know that NFL teams have, will be able to catch up with him for this year. If only because uh, players are doing nothing right now. Nobody's doing anything right now. So it, I no, think he'll not still catch have up success. With him for the next five next years because year. he's so different than every other quarterback they face. It'd be like trying to prepare for the option with one week to prepare. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. Man. He's he he. So he's your he five is, year. He absolutely is my five year. There are two other people that are acceptable here. I'm interested to see who you say. Uh, my choice was Russell Wilson. He wasn't my choice. He's not on here. Really, Russell's a little long in the tooth. Uh, Russell ain't that long in the tooth. Good gracious. What, what is he? He's uh, he's 31. So you're giving me him, and and what you said yesterday to me is, um. He like it's how the team is currently constructed, right? Okay. Yeah, I I do like the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks could get hot, and with a a new wide receiver in DK Metcalf and all that, I think he's going to get better as they go along. He's got some playmakers. He's got you know he needs a, a running you, now, attack, okay. but you uh, he's he's acceptable here as well. I I did my one five and then ten, and if you were on my one list, I didn't put you on my five list, even though you're not my person. So he's in the conversation for one. My two people that I thought were respectable in this: Kyler Murray, and one his team is rough because his coach is rough, but he's been successful you, nonetheless. Which you is said Sean you say Kyler Murray for five, for five years, yeah. But dude, here's here's my only issue with that. He, you've only seen him for one year. That's right. And I've got him for one year. It, so if I can get anything like what he's done his first year over the next four years, five more, this year plus four more, I'm good. I'm happy. Right, so so uh, get, tell me tell me who your other for uh, for five was because Michael Fritz jumped in. I know you can't see the, Desha- uh, the comp- Deshaun Watson. That's what he Deshaun said. Watson. He said, forgot about this guy. But how about Deshaun Watson for 10 years? No, no, no. Deshaun Watson's it. I'm, I'm saying – we're not making massive trades. We can't say if he goes to the Patriots and 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 he gets with Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. No, 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 no. I, he's he's stuck with Bill O'Brien right now. He just <laughs> lost his best receiver. <laughs> like he he's got a couple of old running uh, backs and a bad offensive line. Go get them. Mm, it's really hard to swallow it, that it deal is. and think that organization's going to be good the next five years. <laughs> but talent wise, talent he's wise, Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Kyler Murray. He's way ahead of Kyler Murray. Yes, I agree. I, I would take I would take two years of the five with Kyler in the system he's with. Deshaun Watson's going to be a stud at least one more year. Like, I, I uh, not Deshaun Watson. Um, uh, Hopkins is going to be a stud for him. But, like, I trust that offensive mind and that offensive system. I think at least two of those three years, I'm getting elite level performance. Watson, I am terrified of what it's going to look like with Bill O'Brien, but he's in this conversation because he's that damn good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, no love for Drew Locke. He's a sleeper. <laughs> eh, eh, look, we just haven't seen enough yet. Um, I, I, listen, I have seen enough. I like him. I think he's good. Yeah. You're telling me I I get to build a franchise around a guy for five years. It ain't going to be Drew Locke. That's uh, Michael. There, there might be 19 other quarterbacks I'd take before Drew Locke. Eh, maybe not 19, but <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a lot right now. Now that could change this year. Obviously, oh, that's right. If he comes out and proves yeah. me wrong, that's fine. But yeah, I, right he, now, I've seen a little bit of a little bit. Yeah, Michael said Broncos fan here. I'd take Locke. Like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm, I'm with but you. you. But you wouldn't take Locke over Watson. Like, no, right now, if you could no trade chance. for Deshaun Watson, you you cannot tell me. You'd be like, nope, we're happy with Drew Locke. Who, uh, who is your official for uh, for five years? Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson. Okay, you, Lamar you took Jackson, Lamar. Lamar Jackson, absolute beastly stud, five years. Okay. He's going to run the league. Let's go ahead and talk about one year. year do you want to go on or do you want me to? Doesn't matter. I want to see if you if you laugh me off the face of the planet. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to take Drew Brees for one more year. 
No, okay. Drew Brees is one of the three. It's all okay. old guys. I think his team, I think his coaching staff. Yeah. I will tell you the argument that one of the guys made was Drew Brees. Was he did really, not look great really, the last half of last year. Was really strong in the sense of one year, and he's playing it from we think this year is going to be weird, and we think this year is going to be a little different. And he has had the same offensive coaches, the same offensive coach, uh, coordinator, head coach, offensive scheme. They don't need a lot of practice time to walk in and say, let's go, baby. And that team, while Drew didn't look good, that team is really talented. Yeah. And if Drew can just look like what, you know, a, a fraction of what he used to be, then I think he's a really good choice. I would take Wilson over him for one year. Okay. My okay. choice, my choice is going to be Sir Thomas Brady. Okay. One yeah, year. That... And, and I get my favorite offensive mind in football for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years in Bruce Arians to yeah. coach him. That, it, Along I, with Mike thought. Evans and OJ Howard and Godwin and I yeah. mean you name it, all of these yeah. weapons. And we don't down know there. what they're going to draft, and yeah, I, I just think it's going to be great. I trust. I hope Bruce. it's an offensive lineman. I tr- I trust Bruce so much. I mean, I think that guy. I've, I've told you this before. I think he's elite level good. He has never had a great team before ever. Ever. No, not as a head coach. Uh, now he. Oh, I mean, yes, obviously okay, yes. he as won Super Bowls. In, yeah, yeah, with, with the Steelers. In Indianapolis, he had some amazing teams. Let's As see. a head coach, he's never been given the keys to a badass car. Michael jumped in. He has an interesting question. He said, uh, Brady or Breeze with the Saints' current roster? I'd take Brady. I think Brady's a better quarterback. We saw, you I think saw so Breeze too. break down at the end of the year last year. Look, Brady, in the playoff game where they lost to the Titans, he still had several, like, he threw a couple of deep balls that players just dropped, but he's oh, yeah. got fire in his arms still. Yeah, I agree. And, he, and I know that he's taking care of his body better than Drew has because he's taking care of his body better than any person on the planet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Joseph Gomez said, I think the dog laughed at my Drew Locke pick and left. Like it's, <laughs> Apparently, he saw Sook behind me. <laughs> Listen, I, like, I don't want this to turn into a Drew Locke hate, okay? I no, 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 I no. Like we love Drew Locke. I'm mostly vested in the Broncos being good. I... I, I'm a big Vic Fangio fan. Last year really hurt my feelings when he started off bad. I lost a lot of money on the Broncos last year. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I think Brock Locke is good. I don't know that he's great. I, I don't know that either. Now, he was great at Missouri, and it's tough to be great at Missouri. Um, I don't know. Because he didn't have a ton of talent. I, yeah, but. I, I think, look, he's got a deep ball. He can He can make all the throws. Uh, I think if he learns the offense and he gets in there, because remember, he was dealing with injuries last year, I think he can be really good. Uh, but we'll see. Um, and, he, and you he, were right about Wilson. Sutton. Wilson Wilson deserves to be in the one-year and the five-year conversation. Uh, interesting. Absolutely I, let, me, let me toss another one out here real quick. Because well, okay. we've, we've got, you know, I mean, we're hitting on 40 minutes here. Not that it necessarily yeah. matters. But, um, however, again, I do have the two-year-old that I've got to deal with here momentarily. <laughs> so, once it hits uh, like 5.30 – I got to deal with the baby because my wife has been dealing with him all day. But uh, Teddy Bridgewater, I think Bridgewater and and Joe Brady are going to be fantastic together. So maybe I could see that as the five year, but we haven't seen it yet because I, I think that scary. that would that, dude it that scares would, me. I would yeah. take Bridgewater over Locke, but I I don't know that I would necessarily do that because I don't know yet. I, I would, but I'm going to tell you this. That's a gamble. That is a gamble. There are way too many quarterbacks out there that I think are safe before I did that. Uh, Michael Fritch said, standing invitation, fellas, season ticket holder. So if you ever make it to Denver, you both have tickets. Uh, hey, that, that is a stadium I really want to go to. Yes, man. I want to go to Mile High. I do want to go to boy, Denver. And our boy Sam from West Life Pirates, massive Broncos massive fan. fan. Yeah. So We, we talk Tanner. Broncos frequently. Yeah. I got a couple uh, Broncos fans that I'm in my life. Now, here's, so. here's the thing. Uh, Michael, if you're still watching, I'm curious, it, do you think, like, have you heard anything from the team, anything like that about what is going to happen with this season? Uh, I'm just curious because I, I don't, nobody has any kind of information right now. So I, I, I would imagine money for a season ticket. Yeah. But I would imagine they have taken the money. So they I don't know. For the I don't know if they are going to say anything. I'm, I'm going to see if Michael says anything, but, uh, but yeah, I would love to go out there. My God, I've never been to Colorado. I've never been to Denver. I've been. All over this United States of America, 
Never been to Colorado. Been, been all to out to the West Coast. Times. I've never been to Denver, but I've been to Colorado several times. Where have you gone in Colorado? Uh, just a, a different life. I used to go snow skiing, which I've never snow skied a day in my life. But, <laughs> but I, you I were went there. with people. I went with people that snow skied for trips during like spring break and stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, here we go. He said they postponed our date to select tickets. Okay. Well, either way, we will we will definitely hit you up about that because it, I would imagine flights are going to be pretty cheap, uh, you know, for the next little while. Uh, and, and we ain't scared of necessarily going anywhere or being quarantined because God knows I've been quarantined for uh, over four weeks now. And uh, I, I'll tell you this, Chris, before we log off, before we get out of here, I have already... My wife and I have discussed we are going to take separate vacations and we're going to take a vacation together. Uh, we are dropping off the boy with his grandparents, both sets of them, for a duration of time. Uh, <laughs> Michael said they absolutely took my money, but say if any games are affected, we will be credited or refunded. So probably credited. I would credit it. I would wait credited. to credit it. <laughs> and just try not to get season not try not to get like spring training games next year or whatever uh, like a preseason games next year. Oh yeah. We, Mike Mike said I'll DM you on Instagram if that's right. Yeah absolutely. Games next, yeah. Next year. <laughs> Listen, if there's one uh, league that would absolutely just rape their fans, it, it's the NFL, right? Oh, we, oh, we all agree on that. Yes. It's we, Roger, correct? Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't I don't know that it's politically correct to say rape. I'm um, sorry. But it, that's okay. I was very insensitive, and I shouldn't hey, have used that word. You know what? It's totally fine because we are— I was trying to not use the F word, but no, that's the word I want hey, You use. can use that, too, because I'll tell you what. We are on— uh, Hey, Michael, DM me on Instagram, uh, GaryWCE. The the winning cure is everything when is set up weird, so I don't know that I get DMs on that one, but <laughs> just do it to the GaryWCE one, and, and Chris and I will talk about it, but— uh, but yeah, we'll figure it all out. But yeah, the uh, we're we're not governed by the FCC. We're internet only. Like we can I talk about whatever we want to. So we try and keep swear, it clean. I swear a lot. So yeah, and that's to. you know what? That's totally fine because again, we are the new generation, Chris. Like I don't know if you knew that. I'm old. We, I'm, old I'm way <laughs> too old to be the new generation. If I'm the new generation, <laughs> they, it's not gonna last long. He said people are too. It'll sensitive. be the shortest generation we've ever had. Yeah, you got that right. He said people are too sensitive. You're good, Chris. Like, no worries. So, anyway, but let me, I, I got to get out of here. The boy's already right. screaming and everything, and I've still got to uh, schedule the uh, the podcast and all that. Michael, uh, Joseph, and Stephen, all you guys that have joined in, uh, Matt, everybody else, we appreciate you guys for jumping in every day with us. We have a blast on this show. It is always a good time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit subscribe, share the show out, tell your buddies about it, leave some nice reviews for the podcast if you have not already. Uh, Chris, is there anything else that we need to hit on? Hey, brother. That's Talk it. All right. We will be back again tomorrow. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting the show. We will see you all again on Wednesday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at